VidCon was a blast, but it's good to be back. Nam here with your fixed Friday, July 2nd. Leading up to E3, it was heavily rumored that Sony would team up with a major cloud gaming service, but we didn't know which one or if it would even happen at all. Until now. Sony has agreed to acquire cloud gaming service Gaikai for $380 million. The company says their new cloud service will support content ranging from core games with rich graphics to casual content. Better yet, you'll be able to play them anytime you want, anywhere you go, across a variety of internet connected devices. No specific details have been mentioned, but our resident PlayStation expert Greg Miller did discuss Sony's Gaikai buyout at length. Alright, I have a couple big game announcements for you, but let's start with this Gaia. Yes, pretty lovers, you heard me correctly. The president of Nippon Ichi Software has confirmed that the company is working on this Gaia 5. We still don't know what platform it will be for, what it looks like, or really anything about it, but who cares? At least we know it's happening. As for the other big game announcement, Sega has confirmed that a sequel to Rome Total War is in development for PC. Which is awesome, because in case you didn't know, people really liked the first one. IGN gave it a 9.4 back in 2004, and it's got a 92% Metacritic score. What you're looking at right now is a new trailer for the game, and damn, those graphics look good. Get it? Because it's live action? Anyway, for a better look at that sucker and our preview of the game, head to the web address in that little gray bar down there. PC gamers, it's time to upgrade your rigs. According to EA, the Battlefield 3 Premium service has already gained over 800,000 subscribers since it launched just over two weeks ago. EA says they are very pleased with its performance so far and that, wait, this just in. Dead Space 3 Premium, Need for Speed Premium, Medal of Honor Premium, and Mass Effect Premium? Just confirmed. I kid people, it was a joke. None of those services have been confirmed. But I want to hear what you think, Fixers. Are premium game services a good idea? Why or why not? The comment section below needs your love to feel validated. And that's your fix for July 2nd. I'm Naomi Kyle, and be sure to get your fix anytime online here at IGN.com.